Since the dawn of the internet, people have been sharing dumb and inconsequential nothingness with each other. Not satisfied with pointing out every cloud that looks like an animal on a long road trip, Normies evolved to pester our inbox every day with a class of video that is so uninteresting and mind-numbing that it makes Buddhist monks look like casuals in wiping your own mind of thoughts. Among these examples, cat videos take the throne for the most pestilent among them all. <laughs> this shit is not funny, who finds it funny? Now, imagine this. It is a picturesque afternoon. The sky is flooded with warm colors, different hues of red and yellow. You just finished school or work and find yourself slightly dehydrated. So, your feet take you to the nearest vending machine. As you open the bottle, no gas comes out because you're not as sociopathic as to get a carbonated drink, of course. You hear a vibration in your thigh. You inspect the rare phenomenon, and to your surprise, a new message, and it's not from your mom. Eagerly, you anticipate the highlight of your day. Finally, someone is willing to lend their life energy so you may satisfy your social need. The app takes a second to open, and as your eyes glance at the chat box, it's just a shitting cat video, and the little shit's just like punching his friend or something dumb like that, and somehow that's cute. How? I just don't get it. <sighs> Listen, I understand that you're a sheep-minded wagey of tremendous proportions, and you try to muffle any thought that may suggest you're unhappy with your life, but not all of us are like that. I, the oh-so-great Carlo Celestius, have important goals and places to be. If I open our mutual chat and see a psyop of an animal trying to drain all critical thought out of my mind, I'm straight up blocking you. Instead, try sending me things that will massage and wrinkle up my brain so that it may get as much use and exercise in a fun way. And, newsflash bucko, a cat getting scared at a car horn is not particularly intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> I love cats. The little shits may be prideful as fuck, and the only reason they're alive is because they're shrewd and clever. Not for nothing they're associated with occult arts and intrigue. Personally, I've never met a cat that is warm and loving, the way many make them out to be. All the ones I know just want you to serve them until they're bored. Despite all this, I like them. They are very beautiful and interesting animals, intelligent like almost none other. It's admirable how much they sway low IQ individuals to serve them for life, and then they proceed to live a life of luxury, with a busy agenda of hunting, bathing and eating, like a true aristocrat. Or aristocat? <laughs> you may laugh now. It takes no genius to realize, cats are deeply interesting and complicated creatures, worthy of admiration, art in their honor, and all the esoteric aspects they're associated with. But then, your financially uneducated raggedy peasant ass only looks at them when they're doing something brain dead, like, like falling off a bathroom sink or something. Please explain to me, in what world is this interesting? What makes you think, I wanna see that? Okay, okay, I will admit, I've never had popular opinions on matters like these. There has been no moment in my life where my objectively superior and intellectually advanced opinions were not questioned. So you can't argue that my opinion is quote-unquote cringe and therefore invalid. What, you will send me cat videos because it's funny after I made a whole video asking not to send me those? Okay, good luck waking up with more than seven fingers on your hands, see if I care. If none of this convinces you, then just take a look at yourself. Grown ass man looking at cat videos like an addict, crossing deserts and moving mountains to obtain their substance. What, you can't pay attention to my words of wisdom? All right, let me plaster the screen with Subway Surfers and Family Guy funniest clips of 2022 and see if your retention stays up for once. You are becoming soy jack by enjoying this sort of time draining videos. Alright, so here we have a wide assortment of cat videos. Let's just go for like the first one, clearly from a Korean channel. 
Uh, this is so loud. Wait. There we go. Okay. Why would anyone ever watch this? Like, what is this? It's the same thing. This might as might as well be an image. This might as well be an image with music in the background. What is this? Okay, he woke up. So what? Okay, what? I I'm already bored. Okay, let's look at this. One day ago. Okay, and that was funny. 66 million views. Let's go for this one. Oh, he's playing the piano. Very creative. It's just a cat with a ball. Why do people watch this? Like, I understand why you would watch other foul shit, but this shit is just not funny. It's just not interesting. That's just infuriating. It's not funny, it's infuriating. Piece of shit cat. Again, another piece of shit cat. Again, a dog being funny. It doesn't count if there's a dog in the video. That's a good dog. And that's not funny, that's terrible. That's horrible, how is that funny? I genuinely don't trust you if you enjoy this sort of content. I've been watching this shit for far longer than I would ever imagine. Okay, that's enough. Goodbye. By now, you have been showered, glazed and smeared by me and my exceptional intellect. Many aspects that make me who I am have been given unto you and your mind is reshaping itself to understand the world from my eyes. With this newfound worldview, you have surely not only caught on to the foulness of cat videos, but your support of me has grown. So, how does this affect society at large? Well, one ant carrying food will not save the whole colony from starvation, but she and her 500 comrades will, one at a time, slowly but surely marching, each doing their job. The machinations that make up my grand plan of revealing the subdermal secrets of humanity's misery is a long and complicated one that your borderline Neanderthal cranium will never be able to process. So please, trust the plan, and for the love of everything that you adore, stop sending me cat videos. Also, subscribe, it's part of the plan. This has been Carlos Celestius, wishing you a cat video free day.